Okay, so go ahead and correct this. I don't know where this Kim came from. It should say Kenya and Helen thoroughly clean newly constructed homes for a real estate company. Alone, Helen can clean a 2,400 square foot home in four hours. So four hours to clean a house that's this big right here. Kenya can clean that same house that's the same size in six hours. How long will it take them to clean the home if they work together? So one job, the whole entire job to clean the house takes Helen four hours. And it takes Kenya six hours to do that one whole job every six hours. So we want to know how long it will take them together. So we need to go ahead and solve this equation. So we need to find a common denominator. We need to think of a number that 4 and 6 both multiply to. If your thoughts were 24, you can use 24, but I'm going to go use a smaller number, which is 12. 12 is the least common denominator. And then 12t. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 12t. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So if it helps you, write this 12t next to every single fraction. Everything needs to be multiplied by 12t. So what happens is 4 goes into 12 three times. So what we're left with is 3 times t times 1, which is 3t. And then here, 6 goes into 12 twice. So we're left with 2 t and 1. So 2 t. And then here t goes into t once and we're just left with 1 and 12. So 1 times 12 is 12. And then we're going to go ahead and combine the like terms. Divide by 5. And we get that the time it takes both is 12 fifths hours. So we wouldn't tell someone 12 fifths hours, so we need to write that in a more, in a way that sounds like how we normally would talk about time, so in hours and minutes. So one way to do that would be to get your calculator and go ahead and take 12 fifths and multiply it by 60. And the reason why we're multiplying it by 60 is instead of hours, we want minutes, so this is minutes. So go ahead and do that. And when you do 12 fifths times 60, your calculator will say 2.4. Actually, I take that back, it doesn't. When you do 12 fifths times 60, your calculator will say 144, and it's minutes. Well, we normally wouldn't tell someone 144 minutes. We would break that into how many hours and how many minutes is that. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So if I take 144 and I subtract 60, that's 84 minutes, and I could subtract another 60, that's 24. So I subtracted 60, I subtracted 60 twice, so that's 2 hours and 24 minutes. So it would take both of them together, working together, 2 hours and 24 minutes to clean the 2400 square foot house if they were working together. Now another way to get that same answer is if we do 12 divided by 5. If we do 12 divided by 5, we get 2.4. Well, the 2 represents 2 hours. And then if we multiply this by 60, then we're going to since it's not a whole nother hour, it's only 0.4 of an hour, if we do 0.4 times 60, we'll find out how many minutes. So take your calculator and enter 0.4 
times 60 and you will get 24 minutes. So two different methods. So two hours and 24 minutes to clean the house together.